everybody, I'm Peter Butter Gamer, and I'm a big fan of The Elder Scrolls. In fact, it's probably my second favorite video game franchise of all time after Zelda. Harvest Moon, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Please, please forgive me. No! Being a fan of The Elder Scrolls now is a pretty common thing, but that wasn't always the case. For example, Skyrim has currently sold over 20 million units. The original Elder Scrolls game, The Elder Scrolls Arena, on the other hand, initially sold only 20,000. Just look at you guys out there pretending like you're huge fans of The Elder Scrolls and you haven't even played the original game! Me neither. So, let's check it out! Alright, we got the game installed, let's go! Wait, what's this? IMPORTANT! Well, it must really be important because they put 34 exclamation marks around it. The Elder Scrolls uses a copyright protection at the end of the first dungeon. The game will ask you for the cost of a spell. The password.txt file contains the table. Enter the value associated with the spell to proceed. Okay, now that is some pretty old school copyright protection. Just imagine booting up The Sims 4 and the first time your sim pees himself, the game asks you a surprise copyright question located in a txt file. Except that wouldn't happen because now you can just look it up on the internet in two seconds. Alright, well before we can start, we've got to create our character. You can have your class assigned to you by answering some random questions, but I don't recommend it because you're probably just gonna end up declining whatever it gives you and picking from a class list anyway. Normally I would play as a paladin or something along those lines, but since there is no paladin, let's just pick a healer. We'll be a Breton from High Rock and... Lord Peevington II in all his majestic glory! His specialty power is staring into your soul, causing you to realize all your hidden insecurities. Wow. I just realized how annoying I am. Oh well. At least I'm beautiful. <laughs> There's a time for love and a time for living. Emperor Tiber Septim has been betrayed by the Empire's Imperial Battle Mage, Yegar Thorn. Yegar Thorn banishes Tiber Septim to some kind of vague dimension thingy and magically disguises himself as the Emperor somehow. Yegar's apprentice, Rhea Silnane, seeing the dastardly deeds her master has committed, runs to warn the Elder Council. She doesn't, though, because he kills her. Oops. Instead, she comes to you in some sort of ghostly form to warn you of the evil deeds that are taking place. Oh yeah, also you're some kind of guy in the council or something, and now you're in jail because Yegar didn't like you, I guess. We cool? We got it? Good. Alright, well I guess I'm in prison then. That sucks. But luckily for me, they left the key to the cell inside the cell in plain view. Just a slight oversight there. All right, I'm still trying to figure out the controls a bit. It's similar to Daggerfall, which I'm more familiar with. You hold down the right mouse button and swing it around to attack, and it looks like I can also cast some spells by pressing C. Other than that, I have a... Uh-oh, goblin with an ax. Uh, I'm not really sure what to... Punch him! Just punch him in the face! Ugh! All right, it actually worked! Oh, jeez! Another one! Punch him! Punch him! Uh, yeah! Oh, never mind. Cleavage lady came and stick smacked me to death. Okay, well I can already tell this isn't gonna be too easy. And so, Lord Peepington II traveled through the dangerous dungeons, swam through the unsanitary sewers, and thought up even more awesome alliterations he could use later on. He also smacked some rats with a pole he found on the ground and felt reasonably awesome while doing so. He then continued through the purple portal gate thingy, ready to meet whatever adventures laid before him with an open heart. And also, he was kind of hungry. That too. Cool. Okay, so I made it out! The only problem is I now have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Where am I? Is there a shop here? Anybody? An inn? Where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I? How many times? Who are you? Who are you? Are you an essential NPC character? Can you please tell me what I'm doing? Please! I just want to find an end! All these buildings look the same! They all look the same! I figured it out! 
Yay! Apparently, Rhea Silmane comes to you in a dream after you go to sleep, and she tells you you need to go to a place called Fang Lair. I went to sleep a couple times, and I don't remember seeing this cutscene. So, I don't know, maybe I just wasn't paying attention. So, I chase down some people to ask them where Fang Lair is. The only problem is that some of the people move so quickly that it's really hard to get them to talk to you. Uh, sir, excuse me. Sir, could you, could you slow down for... Uh, sir... Sir, can you please hold it? Sir? No? Okay. Sir, uh, sir, can you please stop for five seconds? Sir! Please, I just want to talk! Where are you going? I said a question! I said a little question! It's a little baby question! Well, this guy looks pretty trustworthy. Maybe he's got some, something, something good to say. Maybe he can help. Wait, wait, what's going on? Hey, what are you doing? Ah! He's dead. Eventually, I heard through the grapevine that I have to go see Queen... Blue Bumka? I think? Basically, she wants me to go to some place called Stone Keep and grab a parchment she needs, and she'll give me the location of Fang Lair. Stone Keep! It's a lovely place, filled with action-packed adventures and battles to be had for all. Actually, it's mostly just this. Just a whole lot of this. Sometimes I even pause the fight by opening a menu screen to use an item or cast a spell, and that's when things really get crazy. All right, well, we did it. We got the thing. We take it back to Blue Bombka, and now comes the real test, Fang Lair. At first, Fang Lair is just more of the same. You walk around, swing your weapon at things, throw fire at stuff, etc., until you get to the end. A quiz! What is neither fish nor flesh, feathers nor bone, but still has fingers and thumbs of its own? Huh. I guess gloves? Or more likely for this game, gauntlets. Oh wow, that was actually right! Yep, I think things are finally looking up for Peedington. Ouch. All right, well, we clearly need to level up a bit and getting some fire resistance potions couldn't hurt either. Back to Fang Lair and I'm ready for another intense battle. Um, okay. Bam, got him. And there it is, the Staff of Chaos. Wait, this is just a piece of the staff? There's seven more pieces? Well, this is gonna take forever! So Lord Peevington II began his quest for the remaining fragments of the Staff of Chaos. He traveled across all the lands of Cyrodiil, riding his trusty steed, Fumblebacher's McFlute, and occasionally stopping for a drink with some of the local tavern folk. And eventually, after a lot of this... ...and this... He confronted his mortal enemy, Jaegar Thar. And by confronting Jaegar Tharn, I mean completely ignoring him and just running straight towards the Jewel of Fire and touching it with the Staff of Chaos, thus ending his evil reign. Peanut Butter Gamer, I mean Peevington, then became the greatest guy that ever was. He hung out with Uriel Septum, did lots of chill stuff, and went to parties and things like that. Yes, everything certainly was looking up for the Peanut Butter Guy. Until one day, he got really wasted with his new anime girlfriend he had been hooking up with, and fell off the roof of the Imperial High School in a drunken stupor to his death. The kingdom got over the loss of Lord Peebington fairly quickly, seeing as how he had become, to quote the Emperor himself, pretty f***ing annoying. He was then placed in an unmarked grave somewhere in the lands of Cyrodiil. The end. Lord Peebington, I miss you so much. I don't even care what the people say. Oh, you never hurt me that much. Oh, Peebington, you're there. The way. Oh, dream on Pivington forever in your dreams. Pivington's a dream. Dream on Pivington, dream on. Oh, dream on Pivington, dream on forever. 
everybody, thanks so much for watching and supporting my channel as usual. I really, really appreciate it. If you wanted to get the Ghost Ride the Whip t-shirt as well as the three t-shirt plus sticker bundle, then that ends on the 30th of this month, so you gotta act fast. There's a link in the description if you wanna check it out. And speaking of Bethesda games, I'm personally really excited for Fallout 4, so I decided to start playing some Fallout 3 on my gameplay channel, PVG Gameplay. I'm collecting all the bobbleheads in Fallout 3, and yeah, a, you can click right here or link in the description to go watch it. If you enjoyed this video, then why not like the video and maybe favorite it and leave me a comment? That always helps. And if you want to see more videos, then why not subscribe? That way you can see more videos when they come out. All right, thank you so much for hearing me out, guys, and watching the video. I hope you guys are having a good summer so far, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye!